Okay, sorry about that. Welcome back to uh, part two. Uh, as I left off in the early, in the first video there, um, I was describing how this knife is uh, light uh, for a balisong, for a butterfly knife. From what I read, at least, I can only really go by on what I've uh, read because I haven't really held a 42 or a 46 or a 62 or any of those. Um, but anyways, at 3.3 ounces, a lot of the the flippers consider it to be a light balisong. Um, it has a pretty nice action, I'd say. Uh, once again, I'm not experienced, but it, it flips nice. It flips well. Uh, the handles are nice and long and whatnot. Um, yeah, I haven't really got to master any tricks uh, other than the basic kind of open and close flip. Um, I know uh, I can spin it uh, on my finger. 360 sometimes and uh, uh, I haven't really learned a whole slew of tricks but um, uh, I haven't got good that way but um, yeah so anyways it's, it's a nice flipper um, for w for what it is here uh, someone else might want to write up and I know that uh, I, I should give a shout out to um, to um, you know, I forget I forget his name. Oh, Calvin Nation. Um, he's he's got actual video review, and that might be redundant here in that uh, yeah, Calvin Nation actually owns multiple uh, butterfly knives, and thus his opinion would be um, probably more relevant. But what I can offer you that I can't that maybe Calvin can't right now is that um, uh, this blade here is fe uh, featuring a for a Damascus blade, um, and maybe some points I touched on that he missed. So a shout out to uh, Calvin Nation, who was kind enough to um, answer some of my uh, reply, uh, some of my questions or comments, uh, and I have turned to his videos in the past to get a uh, bit of insight on uh, knives that I found appealing. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, shout out, shout out to Cutlery Lover and uh, all the other leaders in the in the YouTube for uh, uh, you know in YouTube that uh, kind of light the way for the rest of us that uh, really uh, haven't haven't the knife in our hands and we haven't and we're looking for information before we purchase it. So um, what I can offer you is some advice uh, if you want to make your own uh, Damascus Morpho 51. Now. If you look at Benchmade's gold class products, uh, this knife the Benchmade makes in a gold class, and it's called the um, 5191, I believe. Um, and the price of that knife is, uh, I think it's $1,800 or $1,600 or something like that. So, you know, the Damascus really pushes the value up there. Uh, I got to admit, the uh, handle material is carbon fiber, and there's. Mm, uh, I think there's mother of pearl, black lip mother of pearl inlays and stuff like that. But uh, you know, uh, that's that's a that's a huge price tag. Uh, for any of you that want to um, maybe start making your own blades, for instance, just to uh, not to sidetrack here, but here's another blade I, I made, and this is a friction folder made out of uh, another piece of damascus steel that I had uh, from the same chunk. So. What we have here is a, a friction folder. Um, I really wish I can show you the patterns a little bit better. I can't seem to pull it off with the uh, light that I have. Um, you know what? Maybe I can do a third video showing uh, macro uh, macro detail for for those of you that would uh, be patient enough and bear with me. But anyways, going back to the thing is if uh, and this is red G10 uh, brass pins. A piece of uh, buffalo horn for a backspacer, whatnot, and a friction folder. So, anyways, moving right along, if you're interested in making your own Damascus blade, it, the stuff is beautiful. Uh, it's high technology. It's like a, a CPM S30V in that it's a particle metal. So expect uh, good, good, uh, good performance. Um, you know, there's an exclusivity with it. It's expensive steel. It's something like I don't know what the exact price is. Somewhere like sixteen to twenty dollars a square inch, and you know uh, that's you know it's up there. It's really expensive. I mean, you know who knows to get a little chunk of damn steel is expensive. Anyways, if you want, uh, keep in mind that you could do your own stock removal uh, blade creating, and you can use you can use you know pretty simple uh, items or get help from some friends. Uh, 
just research stock removal knife making and uh, learn how to uh, gr uh, cut, design, grind, and uh, heat treat and temper and finish your own blades. Um, for anybody that might want to start out, I would suggest using a file. Um, get a little simple belt sander from Canadian Tire or something like that or you can use files um, but uh, anyways so you know get yourself try, try looking into it and you can get yourself a chunk of metal and modify a, a favorite knife that you already own for instance uh, say you had a spider co dragonfly it wouldn't take much dam of steel um, to uh, it wouldn't take a big size of piece of dam of steel or whatever your favorite steel is uh, S30V or uh, S90V or whatever you're into to uh, make your own custom uh, you know Damascus spider Spiderco which would make the, make the knife unique and put its value you know it might be a one of a kind in the whole world because no one else thought of making a uh, you know a Vinland pattern dam of steel dragonfly but um, and it's a small blade um, you know, so anyways, uh, just a just a heads up that uh, you might want to check into to knife making. I mean, you might find some uh, incredible joy in it, and uh, you do need some supplies. But uh, uh, maybe look up Wayne Goddard's uh, book, Wayne Goddard, G O D D A, um, God, Ard, uh, G O D D A R D, Wayne Goddard. He's got a book called The Fifty Dollar Knife Shop. So. Anyways, you can uh, heat treat and heat up stuff with the uh, uh, homemade forges. For instance, you can get a fire hot enough with a hair dryer and uh, a hubcap full of uh, you know charcoal and stuff like that. Uh, to uh, you can get it hot enough to heat treat uh, you know uh, 1095 and 5160 and 1084 uh, steels and stuff like that. So you could. Uh, make your own thing. I, see, I don't know what the value of this is now that I went and made a uh, Dama steel blade on it. I mean, now it's almost like I made a, you know, homemade gold class butterfly knife. This might be the only one in the world, uh, you know, like this. I mean, so, um, yeah, just, just give you a shout out that uh, knife making could be a joy. Um, is there anything I forgot here? Um, I don't, no, um, oh, I sh oh, no, no, I guess not. Anyways, uh, I guess that's really all that I have to to chime in about. Um, uh, you know what, uh, for those interested, um, maybe uh, check my website uh, to see if I've included a um, micro video, uh, a video with uh, with uh, micro uh, settings to show you uh, detail on this blade. So, anyways, uh, the Morpho 51, as it comes from Benchmade, is a beautiful knife. It's very nice. Um, if you're looking for something uh, special, you never owned a butterfly knife before or whatever, um, it's a pretty neat looking knife. And uh, it's got some quality materials. It's, I think it's the only knife I own that has titanium. So um, uh, that's about it. Uh, once again, you might want to go check out Calvin Nation for your butterfly knife needs um, so giving him a shout out and uh, yeah thank you very much for spending your time with me and uh, any comments or uh, suggestions that I stuff I might missed or might do better next time uh, let me know okay thanks a lot guys for watching have a good one play safe bye